Well, we're back in Mr. Ramsey's land, and we've got Caleb here. What do you got in your hands there, Caleb? A balloon. And what are you going to do with it? Place it in this liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen? Let's blow on that. Oh, there is something cold in there. Okay, well, give it a shot. What do you think is going to happen while that balloon is in the liquid nitrogen? It's going to shrink. What's it going to shrink into? Dry ice. It's going to shrink into dry ice. So, right now, what kind of gas is inside the balloon, Caleb? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Well, if carbon dioxide gets really cold, what would make it turn into dry ice? The liquid nitrogen. The liquid nitrogen, okay. Would the particles in the balloon, would they be spreading out or coming together? Coming together. They'd be coming together. Rachel, what's a fancy word for particles coming together? Condense. Condense. So the carbon dioxide is going to condense. Boy, I can see it condensing. Is that balloon getting smaller? Yes. It's getting much smaller. We're going to leave it in there till it looks like a pancake. So keep pressing down on it. You're doing great, Caleb. Keep pressing down on it. Now, when particles come together, they form a solid or a liquid? Solid. This is going to come together until it forms a solid. Little pieces of dry ice inside that balloon. Now, if we warm the balloon up, if we take it out, what will the dry ice do? Turn into a gas. It'll turn back into a gas. Let's try it. If it turns back into a gas, what's going to happen to the balloon? It's going to expand. It's going to expand. Let's keep watching. I can hear it kind of crackling. Oh, it is expanding. Kind of looks like it's inflating itself, doesn't it? And there you have it. Dry ice inside a balloon sublimates back into carbon dioxide, thereby expanding the balloon. Great job, Caleb.